I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a barn owl. I come over towards the left and I take one finger and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, in, out, and off the page. Come back up to the dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, in, curve line out, off the page. I come inside Right where that first dot was, I put another dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, over, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line up, down, over, and connect. On the left hand side, I'm going to put a dot and draw one baby circle, jump over, put another dot, and draw another baby circle. I come down towards here in the center and I put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect, inside, dot, dot. Okay. Starting on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and color in this space on the left, jump over this space on the right. I'm going to take an orange and color in this space in the center. Now we're going to do a little bit of double coloring. The first color I'm going to put down is my base coat. And I start up here over on the left and I go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, all the way around. Jump over, up, down, up, down, up, down, all the way around. Jump over. Right here in the center I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the way up. I now take this color which is apricot and what we're really doing is we're laying down that first color to build from when we double color. This is all apricot. It could be a white if you have a white crayon. You're just putting down that first coat of color so that when we come back in with our second or third coat of color it'll already have some of it, some of that color down there. So you might go, well, I can't really see that, and it's like, it's okay, we're going to come back in, and then you'll see what we're doing. So, I take my brown, and lightly, I'm just going to put a loop-de-loop -loop line around this line right here. And I'm going to come back up and I'm going to put another loop-de-loop -loop line on the inner part of this line right here. I'm going to bring it down. We're just edging the space. I'm going to put a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop going across these curved lines down here. Now everybody's going to end up with a different look because we all draw differently, but this is the sequence of colors that you should include. Then I'm going to put a light loop-de-loop -loop line of brown all the way up and around. Now, if you have 
gray. This is when you can see the up down up down line that I first put down up down up down and the little line going up and across. Come down to this space and just draw wavy lines with the gray. Just draw one, you don't need to draw a whole bunch of color. Okay, I think that's all because he's basically kind of a white faced owl. Okay, I'm going, he is called a barn owl, so I'm going to take my gray, I'm going to fill in my background with gray straight lines all the way across. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my barn owl all colored in. They usually live for about four years. They eat voles, shrews, and mice. And they like California because of our mild Mediterranean-like climate. Very hot, dry summers, and mild winters. Okay, bye-bye.